guys uh, this is Dooley uh, so in this video we will continue uh, talking about the distinct operator uh, which is the link operator that allows us to remove duplicates out of collections and it could be uh, an integer a float strings you know as long as the collection that contains these things uh, is a collection that implements the I enumerable interface uh, but last time we ran into some trouble uh, because we were trying to use it on a collection that contained custom objects and uh, the custom objects we were talking about here is the gene class that we've created here it has two properties it has a function that gives us a list of uh, genes and you know some way of pretty printing uh, uh, a gene all right so the way we fixed that issue last time we had this class implement the I equitable interface, which required the implementation of two functions. The equals function, which will take an object of the same class and determine if the two objects are equal. And the get hash code class, which gives us an integer, uh, which will be the hash code for that object. All right. So uh, in this video, uh, we are going to do this uh, in a different way. And as you can see here, that gene class no longer implements the I equitable interface and the functions are removed. Okay. Now, the way we're going to do this now is by using another class uh, that will implement the I equality compare interface. So this is a class uh, whose sole purpose is going to be to compare two objects and give us uh, a true or false value. Uh, uh, telling us if those objects are, are, are equal or not. Okay, so this interface requires the implementation of two functions, and guess what? It's the same functions that uh, the iEquitable interface uh, uh, required. So, but they are going to be implemented slightly differently. Okay, so this is what I've done here. So in the gene comparer class, which implements that interface, uh, you have the equals function here. Um, instead of taking one object, it takes two. Okay, so it will compare these two objects, uh, which is what's happening here. If they have the same reference, uh, we return true. If they are null, if either of them are null, we return false. And if their sequences and their fitnesses are the same, return true if they're not we return false okay so and we have the get hash code function we just verify that the object provided is not null if it's null we return zero if it's not null we calculate the hash code and we give it to uh, to whatever is going to be using that and the way we use that gene comparer is by giving it to the distinct the distinct uh, uh, operator and the distinct operator uh, you are able to provide an I equality compare instance object. Okay. So inside here, as a parameter, we can give a new instance of uh, that I equality compare. It's not going to be like that, but it's going to be an object uh, that's going to be the name of the class that implements that interface. Okay, so we have a gene comparer class, so let's go ahead and uh, get our distinct genes. So, var distinct. That's going to be genes. Now we'll create a new instance of the gene comparer class. Okay, so this will allow it uh, to make the comparison between the genes. So let's go ahead and print the two. Okay, we'll print genes so we can compare. And then we'll print distinct genes. Go ahead and run this. Oops. And see what we get. Okay, let's open that up. Alright. So you 
you can see this is the genes uh, list and this is the distinct list and as you can see the duplicate stuff this is a duplicate this is a duplicate this is a duplicate so you can see here those duplicates were removed so this is uh, the last video on the distinct operator so the distinct operator is used to remove duplicates out of collections there are a few if you are using it on uh, collections that have custom objects uh, you either need to implement the i equitable interface on the class of those custom objects or you can create a class uh, that will serve as a comparer that can compare two instances of that class all right so this is the video guys uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want to know when these videos are coming up um, uh, hit the like button if you if these videos are helping you and uh, if you've got questions just throw them in the comment section and, uh, and I'll see you next time